There has been a lot of chatter about the state of CNN, with our own Joe Concha saying the network's collapse is now complete, but CNN hosts doing their best to send a different message. This place is not perfect. It will never be perfect. We will always have flaws. We will always screw up. We will always have to run corrections. We will always have to keep working to make it better and better and better every single day. That is the goal. We lost our leader this week, but we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Joining us live with his take is Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, why do you disagree with uh, Stelter? Uh, well, again, he's an impressive fellow. Uh, to run the whole public relations unit and to run opposition research, that division, and to run the crisis management division as well, and to be the CNN uh, media correspondent, wearing all those hats at once uh, is impressive. Why uh, do I disagree with him? Uh, because the network truly is collapsing now at this point, guys. Because considering what has happened recently, right, it's network president and Jeff Zucker. He's been there for about the past decade. He was forced out abruptly on an excuse, by the way, that zero people in the country believe because of a consensual relationship. I mean, even with the network president resigning, the, the network is lying to its viewers because, because you know, it was much more than that, given all the reports we're seeing as far as Zucker and his girlfriend, Allison Gullist, advising Andrew Cuomo on how to hit Donald Trump on COVID at the height of a pandemic while making Cuomo look good and then getting all the ratings they got out of it by arranging all those interviews between Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo at the time. So, yeah, that, 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 that's laughable that that's the excuse that why Jeff Zucker's out. But also it's top rated anchor, the man I just mentioned, Chris Cuomo. And I get that top rated anchor over at CNN means skinniest kid at fat camp. But Cuomo also out recently. So uh, their biggest star is gone. But most importantly, from a business perspective, they have lost 90 percent of their audience when compared to the same time last year. Now, imagine that 10 people are in a room, Carly, right? They're watching CNN one year ago. Nine have left the room. So business is horrible. It has no leader, and this is the state of CNN at this point, which has no credibility and certainly is not the network that I watched growing up during the two Gulf Wars, where their reporting and their objectivity was something really to behold. It was a great, great network. Now it is a shell of itself. It has collapsed. What stood out to me so much was the absolute loyalty the employees, the people on air had to Jeff Zucker because it told yeah. me that they, too, believe that they should only be a Trump-bashing, Fox-bashing, January 6th exploding network. And that shocked me because that's not what CNN used to be. Want to quickly get to this ESPN panelist says, U.S. has no room to criticize genocide in China. Joe, when I saw this, I said, cue Concha. Let's cue this tape. All right. Who are we to criticize China's human rights records when we have ongoing uh, attacks by the agents of the state against unarmed citizens, and we've got assaults on the voting rights. So sports, I think it is possible, and it's necessary more than ever to just shut everything out if you are to enjoy the actual games themselves. And not only did ESPN not censure that, they promoted that clip. Are people like Adande, people at ESPN, too stupid to understand the dangers of China or too ignorant of what exactly is in the Republican voting preservation bills? Joe. Todd, we, we love sports. We talked about just now how CNN used to be a great network. ESPN was as well, right, uh, particularly during the 90s and Olbermann and Patrick. And, and just what ESPN was was escapism. And now this is what it's become. It's almost impossible to differentiate ESPN from MSNBC or The View at this point. And by the way, uh, here's a newsflash for J.A. Adande, who says, wait, uh, we, we have voting issues here, and that compares to what's happening with the Uyghurs as far as slave labor? Uh, here's the newsflash. Three in four Americans support voter ID requirements in this country, including a majority of African-American voters. You want to go into any ESPN building, you need a photo ID. But of course, nothing's going to happen here to Adande. He'll probably be promoted and be the next anchor of Sports right, Center right. because this is what's embraced at ESPN. But if you're conservative over there, you're shown the door quickly for sharing any sort of political view. It's, it's quite hilarious on some level. Okay. Joe Concha live for us this morning Thanks, on Joe. a Monday. Thanks, Joe. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.